here, um, we're in between the Shank Hill and the Falls at the moment, looking at some of the walls along the uh, along the Peace Wall. And you can see the entrance here up to the Shank Hill. But behind us on the wall here, peppered in between our nationalist history, we have the new globalist direction of what what parties like Sinn Féin, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael want for this island. So you can see the indoctrination of children here on the fucking wall. All these programs here are globalist programs funded for a specific purpose to indoctrinate and weaponize the children of our countries, all of our countries, even the children across the wall here, into going against their own culture, to destroy their own culture and to become globalists, internationalists, all one race of people. It's just not possible. We should embrace our, our differences, you know, we should be proud of ourselves. That's not diversity. That's not diversity at all. That's that's homo homogenous. You know, that's a homogenous society where everyone's the same. University. Yeah. Unilater unilateralism, whatever you want to call it. But you can see here the European Union has their stamp on this. This has always been a conquest by the European Union since day one. And they've messed with the border, they've played with the border. We saw it on Brexit. They used the border as a bargaining chip. Something that is very special and integral to the people up here. The people up here don't need any more bullshit like that. They've gone through enough and they should be left alone by Europe. And that's why we want Europe out of the Republic even. We want them gone. And uh, just beside it here, if you want to scan over, you can see the usual climate panic scare tactics on the wall. Now, the type of artwork here is actually exactly the same as the type of artwork used in the Denver International Airport in America. And if, if, if you look up the Denver International Airport murals, they're designed to create panic and fear about incoming doom in the future with, with climate. You can see here the waves are even higher than the buildings. Like look at these big buildings firing out black smoke and the waves are higher than the buildings. And uh, this is all part of this globalist nonsense to take away our, you know, petrol cars, to, to, take away our coal fires like you said in the last video David to take away our independence and uh, I suppose autonomy we are now reliant on huge systems stretching all the way to Russia now we're reliant like, the price of Russian gas is now affecting Mary and Josie either side of this wall as we found out yesterday you know that shouldn't be fucking happening we should be able to stand on our own two feet on this island and that's, that's all I have to say on this post. Well, it was a real uh, education to go around uh, on the Falls Road yesterday and speak to the locals and to knock on the doors um, with, with Tony. Tony's running as an independent up here. And the people of the Falls and the people of the Shank Hill are ready for an independent candidate. We're sick of the divisiveness. We're sick of people capitalising on division rather than building communities. And that's really what Tony is about, is a build, building communities. And that's what we are about in the South as well. And Tony's model is an excellent model that I feel will be uh, adopted right across the north eventually. But um, it was very interesting to speak to the uh, to the to the public yesterday. Uh, they felt very underrepresented. The many people that we had spoken to hadn't voted for years because of the divisive politics that are employed. So there was a real eye-opener for them to see an independent candidate who is truly about cross-community and cross-border relations and not about cause and division that sustains these globalist parties. It's this division that they thrive on. Um, it's this division that gives them the funding and their call with the raison d'etre. And without the peace wall, without these div divisions in the community, these people become redundant. So they will keep this going as much as they can and they will do things like what happened yesterday um, with, the, with the bomb scare uh, up here, just up the road here. Um, that's their, that's some Egypt that was paid to go and cause division, to justify the, the campaigns of political parties on either side of the divide. The party is over. The party is causing division. The party does not vote with its conscience. It, this has to stop. We need independent candidates voting with their conscience and their minds. And this is one of them here. Okay.